up YouTube, welcome to my first ever gameplay and commentary video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some Gears of War 3 customs on the map checkout. Um, so without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so first round, we decided to keep it tight and play it safe, so we, we're going to do an all-in push to the checkout area of the map. And then the Locusts, we found out early on that the Locusts are doing a 2-1, so we had to make our numbers count, try to get map control or get a bonus, get a kill. Now, you see that guy in there, um, alleyway, he really is in a no man's position. I don't think he called out my position to his teammate on the platform, and so he died early, and uh, and then he's finished off himself. I don't think he, he shot about three bullets and that's about it, that's all he did. Um, really bad positioning, bad positioning on his part. That leaves us in a three on one situation, and um, there's only one outcome uh, in that kind of uh, in that kind of position. Now you could argue early on that I should have died to the nade. I could have died to the nade, uh, but I really I think fundamentally what was wrong was uh, the bad positioning on the locust part. Uh, I mean they were they were never really in a situation where uh, one teammate could help out another. They were just way far too separated. Um, moving on to the second round, so I think both teams are doing the standard two-one push, uh, sending two guys to the uh, sniper or the or flat, and then one guy to nades. And that's bad play on my part. Uh, I get full red early on. I should have used attack com. This is where it switches around. Uh, Warboss, who was fighting me in nades, he should have called. Look at that guy. Look at that guy just messing around opposite the map. He should have given me shots early on, not now. If he had been shooting me early on, I would have been down. And that would have been a lot different. Um, instead, Warboss decides to push me. I uh, don't know why, because I had right hand advantage and I had teammate covering me. And now we're left in a 2 on 2 situation where both teams obviously have the. Um, uh, a, a player in ghost cam, so we're gonna see a bit of a uh, bit of a stalemate now. <coughs> really important not to give cheap cheap deaths, or you know, make sure you you're not you're not in a position where the sniper can get an easy headshot on you. So we're just waiting here, see what happens. Got him. Okay, so again, you're gonna see quite bad play on the locust team. You're gonna see it's quite a, a separation again. Look at the sniper. Um, I really don't know what he's doing there by himself. He's got no cover. I made a mistake in in in, in the fact that I should have pushed him as well with my teammate, uh, but it doesn't matter because he got him anyway. And now uh, look at the difference. We were fighting there. Even if I died within a second or two, my teammate was right there to finish it up. Um, so again, bad separation, bad positioning on the locust part, uh, and not enough teamwork. Moving on to the third round. It's good to keep mixing it up, by the way. You shouldn't always keep this doing the same strat over and over. You should uh, do you know s different things. So I think we're going to do a three uh, all-in push again to the uh, to the checkout area again, but this time I take a different, a far more aggressive route. Um, I'm, I think the locust do two one because I'm only aware of two players at this point. Missed the mana kick and a um, bit of a lag there, but that's quite normal for me. I need to upgrade my internet connection. Definitely need to upgrade it because it sucks with Sky. Um, again, Locust left in the three one, and um, there's only one way that's ending again. It's only a matter of time. There you go, three nil. <coughs> Moving on to the fourth round. Now we're gonna see something really bizarre on my part. I mean. Maybe it's because we were three nil up. I really don't know what I was doing. I was pushing nades, but at the same time, Let's I wasn't. You'll see what I mean. Um. Okay. So why am I going into home electronics? <laughs> um. No idea. However, doesn't really matter because, to be honest, look at that man. Do you see that guy? No. They had all this time. All this time. We had only two guys. My man's chilling behind that wall playing hide and seek. They had all that time to push in to check out, at, you know, at the minimum, gain control of the area, if not, get a kill. Um, instead, we end up killing one of theirs somehow, and now they're left 3 on 2, and it's just going to be a Lancer, Lancer game, just uh, pinching, basically. <coughs> so again, bad part on the, on the, lo uh, bad play, sorry, on the Locust team. If they if you're gonna make a th all in push to an area, you gotta make sure you're gonna take control of that area. I mean, either we're gonna have a player down or we're gonna meet you with three guys. In any case, you know, if you've decided to do that aggressive three man push, you gotta make it count. You can't just go half heart half hearted in. 
leave one guy at the back, you know, it's not doing anything. That's a sweet headshot. Although it's quite easy. Um, but there you go, 4 0, clean sweep. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to click, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and that's about it. Peace out.